Oh, ho, 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 ho. so <laughs> they think that this this model is gonna be gaming in the next twenty years. So oh, prepare for your future, gamers. It ain't looking too bright. If this is the case. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Oh, hey, what is going on, everybody? How are you all doing today? I hope you all are having a wonderful and fantastic day today. And if not, hopefully you all will have a better tomorrow. <laughs> so, <laughs> apparently, apparently, you know, researchers went into investigations to see what gamers could be like in the next twenty years, and they don't change their ways. <laughs> Terrifying model shows what avid gamers could look like in just 20 years. Oh no! Oh no! Researchers from OnlineCasino.ca, oh, yeah, show website, have predicted what avid gamers could look like in just 20 years if they don't change their habits. Oh my! <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Oh, this is what they... <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay, yeah, because uh, this is what's going to happen, gamers. Oh, for beware. Beware the future. Oh, my lord. Uh, with the UK now in its third week of lockdown, many bored Brits have turned to gaming in hopes of their filling their time stuck in the house. Now, didn't they say during this time that's what we should be doing anyways? Just saying. But a new study looking into the effects of gaming on the human body may put you off gaming for a while. Researchers from Shills have predicted what avid gamers could look like in 20 years if they don't change their habits. The team has created a model called Michael, who doesn't look too well. To create Michael, the team looked at research reports looking into physical effects of staying indoors, sat in a chair while staring at a screen. <laughs> wait, wait, Michael. Wait, so wait, we got Michael. Where, where's a, where's a female one? You know, like, oh, is this? Let, let me, let me guess. This is the jab at men, isn't it? I bet it is. Oh, and um, another thing I want to bring up: mobile video games exist. Nintendo Switch. You know, you can take it on the go. You know, I'm just saying, just throwing some facts out there. You know, the researchers explained the visualization shows that Michael is pale and pasty skin from years of being in artificial light, and the result of lack of vitamin D and B12. Um, these said researchers, have they never thought that, uh, I, I don't know, I mean, I'm just throwing a fact out there, you can take pills for that. But, you know, I'm, I'm just saying, I'm, I'm just saying, just saying. He has stress-related enzema across his legs and arms and permanent bent back from poor posture. Um, but, but can't video game chairs, you know, bend back? You know, I'm just pointing this stuff out, you know, facts, facts. <laughs> Right. Number one, the head. Michael has painful bloodshot eyes due to extended periods of time staring at a screen. The model also has an indent in his skull <laughs> due to consistent light pressure of wearing a gaming headset. I mean, what's he doing? Mashing it onto his head? Hands. Surprisingly, years of gaming have had detrimental health effect on Michael's hands. What the? What are the? <laughs> what? <laughs> Those blisters? What is wrong with his hand? It looks so deformed. Gaby wouldn't do that to someone's hand. Like what? What? What is this? What am I looking at? <laughs> oh man! Like what? This is ridiculous. <laughs> the model suffers from only colitis. Only colitis. What? What? A nail disorder caused by repetitive trauma, such as tapping fingernails on a keyboard or controller, causes the fingernail to loosen from its nail bed. What? Meanwhile, Michael has built up ulcers and calluses on his fingers due to the repetitive strain injury of using a controller. <laughs> oh, man. More like uh, fake gamer exposed, is what this sounds like to me. <laughs> like, what? Oh... Finally, Michael has developed a hunchback and rounded shoulders. <laughs> what? Oh, man. I mean, uh, look at him. I mean, he looks like the hunchback of Notre Dame's, like, criminal cousin. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, this is absolutely absurd. Oh, man. 
<laughs> we even have stuff here that they're <laughs> okay let's look at this indent and skull from what for pressure and overuse of headphones wait wait is he like taking his headphones and just like smashing them into his head <laughs> is, that what, like, is that what's going on dark circles from sleep deprivation and excessive screen time <laughs> what happened to gamer glass I don't, is that even like is that a thing anymore Hunched back, poor posture over time. Oh, so what? Uh, the gamer chair, you know, is it the fact that he's just like leaning over? Does he not have like one of those relaxing gamer chairs that can, uh, you know, like have him just kind of like move, uh, you know, back and whatnot? I mean, <laughs> oh man, this is, uh, this is absolutely ridiculous. This is hilarious. Like, what? Oh man. <laughs> oh, okay, let's, let's continue. Bald patch is lack of sunlight and vitamin D. Uh, have you ever heard of male pattern baldness? You know, that can happen. You know, that's a thing. That's real. <laughs> I don't, like, I, I guess I guess they don't think about that. Bloodshot eyes. Irritation from staring at a monitor. Oh, no. Oh, no. You know, he's, he's, he's just, like, damaging his eyes. Hairy ears. Lack of air circulation. Um, You know, that just kind of happens with age. You know, like. That <laughs> rounded shoulders from lack of movement from black from <laughs> wait okay so like you're you're gaming so wait how, how would you have a lack of movement you're going to be moving your arms back and forth <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> obese from increased food intake and lack of exercise <laughs> because they think that uh, a gamer is uh, just sitting there, right? They, they don't think that the gamer ever gets up and does anything, so they immediately assume that a gamer's going to be obese. Pale skin deficiency in vitamins B12 and D. Uh, you can take <laughs> you can take pills for that. Like, are you kidding me? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. PlayStation Thumb and Nintendo Arthritis? Oh, wait. What? PlayStation Thumb. Repetitive strain from excessive use of controller. Oh, man, because PlayStation's gonna damage your thumbs. <laughs> Beware of the PlayStation controller. It's gonna do harm. Oh, no, PlayStation, how dare you? <laughs> Nintendo arthritis. Ulceration on hands for excessive controller use. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, but there's nothing on here about Xbox. There's nothing on here about Xbox. Yeah, fake diseases to make the Xbox look good. <laughs> what? Microsoft, are you behind this? <laughs> no. Eczema, stress-induced. Wait, 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 wait. Video games is a form of entertainment. It's supposed to take you away from the stress of reality and real-world problems. What? Oh, well, sure, sure. Oh, okay, okay, whatever. <laughs> First person shooter. <laughs> what? Excessive use of mouse and keyboard causes numbness. What? Wait, what? Blisters on fingertips from excessive use of controller or keyboard. Hey, anybody can sit over here and tell you that uses their hands like guitarists or, you know, like gamers, for example, or anyone that does stuff like this, you know they're going to get calluses. Like, what, <laughs> what blisters? What? What? <laughs> oh man trigger finger repetitive strain injury <laughs> wait wouldn't that just fall into the same thing as first person shooter that makes absolutely no sense <laughs> wait, what <gasps> oh man swollen ankles from lack of movement <laughs> oh what what in the world is going on here <laughs> What? What is this? What is this guy? Like, <laughs> uh, I don't understand. What? Varicose veins. Poor blood flow from sitting down for long periods of time. What? <laughs> this guy. This this guy's an absolute mess. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> this is insane. This is ridiculous. OnlineCasino.ca explained a condition that slowly develops over time. A hyperextended neck, rounded shoulders, and a hunchback will start as a dull pain occasionally and work its way to your neck through your hands and back as the strains slowly create a bend in the neck, which creates a hunchback. 
This is caused by elongated periods of time sitting in uncomfortable positions without stretching or counteracting with regular exercise. What? <laughs> Based on the findings, the researchers are urging gamers to take proper breaks from their gaming sessions. I would have expected them to, you know, want you to log into their online casino and play that. You know, like, what? it's like they're just saying, hey, don't do it, though. <laughs> How to avoid looking like Michael. Exercise. Making sure you take time to get up, stretch, and exercise. Evenly light the room. Avoid glare from your screen by evenly lighting the room. Follow a healthy diet. Following a healthy diet will help to support your in-game performance by improving decision-making, concentration, and energy levels. Sit properly and regularly. Stretch. This will help with short-term aches and pains and will protect you from the future gamer hunchback and rounded shoulders. Stay hydrated to avoid fizzy drinks and drink lots of water. You know, you would think that they would make an article about uh, why you should play at their casino. <laughs> like what? Except for they make this. And then look at this guy. Look at him. Look at like his head is just like smashed in. Like I said, he had to have been smashing in the headset. <laughs> why does he look like he's pregnant? Why? Why, why, why does he look like he has boobs as well? And, like his neck? Like, what? Why does his neck look like that? It looks like, like, what? that is, what? What? <laughs> what? That's insane. Meet Michael, the future gamer. Everyone, meet Michael, a visual representation of the future gamer. The future is now, everyone. The future is now. We at Show Website conducted a study that predicted how avid gamers could look in the next 20 years. So 2040, everybody, gamers are apparently going to look like this from what uh, they're saying. Oh, no. Uh, oh, man, this is like, uh, <laughs> you know, what this actually is, is this is actually like a hit piece. Basically, what websites like these do is they do it so that people will just have like links and then they will just like link it to their website, and that's how they you know, get people and traffic over there. That's exactly what they're trying to do with this. According to Limelight, the average gamer spends six hours each week playing online video games, which is an increase of 19.3% in the last year. Gamers in the UK play most 7.15 hours per week, and with many even becoming addicts, spending up to 18 hours a day online. That seems a bit excessive, doesn't it? Video game addiction is now recognized as an official physiological disorder by WHO, World Health Organization, and referred to gaming disorder despite opposition from the industry and academics. Wait, but didn't the WHO tell us to play games during this crisis in time? Wait, wh what? <laughs> See, that, that's the thing. This is nothing more than a hit piece. It, it's just <laughs> nonsense. To just gain traffic onto a website. That's exactly what this is. It's <laughs> absolutely ridiculous. This is, oh, it's oh, absurd. Just comically absurd. Anyways, I'll be back again on Tuesday. Let me know what you think about this entire situation down below. Subscribe to the channel if you are new here. And make sure you are still subscribed. Because YouTube is unsubscribing people from all their favorite channels. So make sure you are still subscribed to all your favorite channels. Hit the video with a like. And also be sure to share the video. Spread the word and get it out there. It's greatly appreciated. And it really helps out the channel a lot. Also, be sure to follow me on Discord. We have a wonderful community there. Not only that, but it will keep you updated on when the newest videos will be released, as well as any other upcoming events in the near future. So be sure to follow me on Discord. The link is in the description down below. But anyways, I hope you all have yourselves a wonderful and fantastic day today. And remember, if today was not a good day, tomorrow could always be better. Take care of yourselves and everyone around you. And have yourselves a good one out there, everybody.